This ain't your ordinary media. Also put a whale out of handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. If you look this way, you realize that the only thing that matters, and that's your mother, that's your family, that's love. This platform is for creatives on the clock grinding. You know, stay loyal to your creativity because it's a gift. Art is, is within us entirely. You know, instead of it just being about one kind of genre, I never kind of let a cap be put over my creativity. Entrepreneurs building empires in the dark. But without a game plan, without a, a strong sense of faith in what you're doing, it's going to be real hard to accomplish anything. Simply put, this stage is for everybody getting to the bag. Um, you know, when kids have dreams, hopefully adults can give them an outlet to possibly make that dream become reality. By any means necessary. By any means necessary. My homies call me Chief, and this is the Each One Teach One Podcast. Uh. We win and can't fuck with the losers I'm in a foreign, he in a foreign These shits feel like they Ubers That's how we gotta maneuver Two different can never confuse us Niggas can never I smoke gumbo like it's hookah 600 a zip, no gooka Everybody that I'm with is a boss Feel like rich and I pry a porter Give me Yes, sir. Peace, kings and queens. Welcome back to the Each One Teach One podcast, season two. And today, <laughs> right, I got a special guest in the building. I got Trillion Dollar T, a.k.a. XM from the hit web series Respect Life. My brother, round of applause, God. round of applause. <laughs> yeah, Thanks yeah. Me, man. Peace, king. Me. Peace. Definitely, definitely. How you doing, brother? Everything good, man. Can't complain. One yes, day sir. at a time, bro. Yes, sir. Same over here, man. Yeah. Yo, I got to say it, man. Thank you for coming on the podcast, no bro. No problem, man. I know Thanks you're a busy man. Me. Yeah, I mean. Thanks for having me, man. Always. You an uh, actor. Yeah. You a rapper. You see, like, I got to look at the camera, right? I'm a, I'm a fan out today because I'm interviewing a great actor, right, from Respect Life and a dope rapper as well. So we're going to start with Respect Life. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, first of all, how did you get your role? Like, for, actually, let's let the people know who your role is and everything and how you got it. All right. Um, I play XM, a rapper or whatever, and Respect Life. And, um, an arrogant rapper, you could say. <laughs> yeah, me? yeah. And I got my role basically when Boom... AKA Mello, when he was coming up with it and all that, basically I told him, I said, I'm gonna, if I get in the show, I wanna play a role that's like something that I really do, feel me? Mm. So not even, not even just to make it easy on me, but to basically promote my brand as a, basically kill two birds with one stone, feel yes, me? Yes, sir. Like, yes, sir. Promote myself and, feel me, act like myself or whatever, feel me? But, and then that's when I got that. Like as you can see, I I'm not in respect life until like the second season, like uh -huh. the end of the second season. Uh huh. So basically, my role had to come about. Like, so it had to build my way up to my role and all that. And then that's when I came in. So yeah, that's how I got that role. Basically, where did it originate? Where did respect life start? It started in my hood, Bad Star. Feel uh huh. Me? Brooklyn. Yeah, Boom. Brooklyn. What up? Bad Star, Brooklyn. Feel me? Uh huh. A place called the Courtyard or whatever. Uh huh. Um, Boom, aka Mellow. Basically, he came up with a script, and basically everybody from the hood, like he got everybody from the that's, hood. And, that's love. Feel me? Yeah. Each one, definitely. each one. He put his niggas definitely, on. Yeah, for sure, for sure. My nigga. So he put everybody in the hood in it. And then it just went from there. Like, it just got big. It just started getting bigger and bigger, like, every episode. Did you feel it, though? Like, the impact of Respect yeah. Life? Yeah, yeah. I definitely felt it. I definitely felt it. From follow it, like, people on the gram. Like, yeah. they should just... I could curse on here? Yeah, yeah. Come on, right, bro. Should, hell yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. They should just flew out the roof, feel me? Uh-huh. Wow, so... I, I seen it with my own eyes, word, from nothing to something. My nigga, I had Respect Life watch parties. That's oh, how crazy word. it got. That's fine. Hell yeah, bro. You know, shout out to my nigga NY Ma, my brother, yeah, who, 
Yeah, real talk. Mick, who also was on Respect Life, yeah. he played Lee. So yeah, Lee was, yo, you, obviously you know that. Yeah, you were part of the cast. Me, like, yo, my man Chief, on the, when not you on his podcast and all that? Word. My brother, and why I love, yeah, King. For sure, for sure. So I would do like watch parties. Like I call my niggas like, yo, Respect Life drop in the night. Let's order pizza. Yeah, that's fire. Real talk. That's fire. Well, for real, King. All the pizza and shit, we watching, we like, oh shit. And I get, and I have a brand, E1T1, right? Yeah. So I would throw him like a beanie and shit, and he wore it. Yeah. I'm like, oh shit, yo, it That's was a crazy. Fact. That's a fact. But I'm gonna tell you something that I never told no one, right? So I was at work one day. Uh huh. Now, nah, I mean, I'm not gonna disclose where it was at. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I was at work and I saw Mel. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And people was screaming. What? Screaming and we're big fans of Respect Life. And I, yeah. you know, I know y'all, some of y'all personally, right? So I was like making sure she was good, right? But yeah. she she was like, thank you, thank you. And I was like, yo, this shit crazy. I and then I seen y'all on the news. Yeah, that's when, yeah. Pix 11, I think that yeah, was. Yeah, bro. Yeah. And I was just like, yo, this shit crazy. You go to YouTube, 250 views, 350, 750. Wow. And I was like, yo. Yeah, it was a, it was at a point. It was doing, uh, like at least a hundred to one fifty in the first twenty four hours. Wow, crazy, bro. Wow, crazy, that was crazy. And then it's tough, right? Cause it's a bunch of adults, right? Everyday life and shit. Niggas yeah. got kids. Niggas got work. Yeah. Got jobs and shit. So I know it was really tough for like Boom to keep it together. He a genius, yo. Yeah, that definitely, definitely he. He uh, hats off, man. Bro, talk, boom. I couldn't have did it, you. man. That's I can't even plan like if my birthday or some shit. I can't. I don't even like planning like shit like that. <laughs> fam. Like hell yeah. So I can only imagine that getting everybody together and on the same page. Did he? Did he write everyone's lines, or you got to improvise? And nah, uh, he he wrote all the lines. Word. He wrote all the lines, but for the you 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 could. Put your little spice on it though, mm -hmm. if it, like if it if it don't throw it off too much off track. You feel me? Yes, sir. Yes, like, sir. I always try to put my little spice on it. Uh huh. Just to, like, uh -huh. Feel me? Uh -huh. Or so you definitely could put your little spice on it, but you gotta just you know stay on track. Don't get too much off track. Don't, <laughs> don't go too crazy, yeah. right? If you if you wanna if you one of the characters that. Like people take a liking to or even a hating to, cause that's still love uh -huh. at the same time, feel mm. me? So if you one of them characters, then it's basically when the camera's rolling, you just in your element, feel me? And you yes, just do what you do. Like yes, sir. Feel me? Even if you you say a little different line, the person that you acting with, like they should be able to catch that. I shouldn't really throw like throw them off track too much. Feel me? Mm -hmm, when mm -hmm. you basically in the element, then it's just like real life every day. Feel me? It ain't oh, even yeah. acting no more for real. It's just like regular reality. Just, so I'm happy you said that, right? Yeah. You said it's not acting no more. So I always I live. I was a fan, right? I'm still a fan, but I was I used to come to the courtyard. Uh huh. MGB salute to my man Nut. Everybody, right, everybody right, over right. there, right? <laughs> yeah. And I'd be like, yo, boom, man, like. You know, like, yo, I'm a big fan. He's like, yo, Chief, I know, bro. Thank you for the support. And I would never build up the confidence to be like, yo, can I get, like, because yeah. I know this is his life. Like, it's a real shit for y'all. Yeah, for So sure. you can't just be laying fans on. Like, yo, bro, can I get a role? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, I don't act. You know what I'm saying? But nah, believe it or not, like, we, we, we be need, sometimes them extras be needed. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, and then you never know, like, with, with your extra, you might end up being needed again, feel me? Or depending on how good you played your extra. Uh -huh. So now that just you, now that just opened up more doors for you, you feel me? So, season three, episode, <laughs> um, episode nine, uh -huh. Guns and Butter, huh? Yeah. I, I made a cameo on Respect Life. Yeah. Round of applause, round of applause, round of applause. That's a fact. I seen you. My, <laughs> my dream came true. You know, my man again, NYMI, Lee, a.k.a. Lee, Mick, hit me like, yo, bro, I got I got need something from you. And I'm like, yo, anything. What up, bro? He's like, yo, it's time. So I'm like, it's time? He's like, yo, I got a, a, a role for you on Respect Life. Yeah. I'm like, word? He's like, yeah, I'm going to send you your script. 
And I was like, oh shit. So I'm practicing this shit. Yeah. And then when I'm reading it, I'm like, oh shit. Like I'm playing myself. And make it more easier for you. But then when I kept reading the script, he it was like you getting gunned down on IG Live. What? For those who don't crazy. know, spoiler alert, turn this shit off. <laughs> but Max. XM was on Instagram Live. He had just dropped the record, dissing all his ops, right? Yeah. Just to show you how phenomenal the writing of Respect Life is, because this is shit that's really happening right now. Violence in the hip-hop industry, this is each one's each one podcast, so I'm a preach, right? It, the violence is at an all-time high right now. For sure, for sure. For sure, right? And the writers Respect Life do a great job of bringing awareness to the shit. So long story short, you know, um, XM... Now, I mean, he's alive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's alive. Facts. Facts. XM was on IG Live like, what up? He dropped a hit record, dissing all his ops. And, of course, the radio stations played it through the roof. The Heavy record rotation. labels. You know what I mean? It's an agenda. We know. Yeah. You know, profiting off of black trauma. That's yeah. what they doing. Facts. You feel me? That's Facts. how we got to be smarter, but we'll get there. So I reported XM being shot down on IG Live, right? And yo, my nigga, when I seen that shit, bro, I was like goosebumps, bro, because it was the the like I got to play myself, uh -huh. and I got to deliver a message that we're doing right now, like uplifting one another. Like you said when you came in, I'm thinking you like, bro, one hand wash the other, bro. Both wash the face. Both wash the face. So I got to do that and spread a message like, yo, it's all an agenda. Yeah. Like they gunned down XM over music and the record labels is applauding it and shit like yeah, that, right? Yeah, yeah. So I apologize. You know nah, what I mean? Nah, it's, a, it's acting, man. I know, bro. Like I, I apologize, apologize for being happy role, about reporting man. you being shot. It's, it's a role, man. Feel me? Uh-huh. We uh -huh. playing our roles. That's like me that's like me apologizing. <laughs> like people always come up to me, feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, yo, you really like that in real life and all that, da, 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 feel me? And, and I can't say, yo, I'm sorry for that, feel me? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. That's like me. I hate, like, like somebody like Forrest Whitaker, right? Mm -hmm. Forrest Whitaker, he played, like, Mad Dog. You seen uh, Jason Lyric, right? Nah, I don't Never think Never saw so. Jason nah, Lyric? I'm, I'm, nah, bro. Oh, man, son. <laughs> nah, bro. I right, like but he it. play, he play um, the drunk pop, the drunk father or whatever, mm -hmm. feel me? Like, roles like that. He did that so good. Like, you make you think he a drunk in real life, real feel life, me? Real life, yeah. Or Bo King, make you think they crazy in real life, feel me? People like that uh -huh. play them roles good that when you see them, you'll really hate them or, like, really... Feel me? Nah, that's a fact. And they just doing their job for doing real at the job. end of the day. Feel me? Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, yeah. man. But I'm happy. Thank you. You know what I mean? For saying I ain't got to apologize. Nah, you feel yeah, me? Because sure, I'm like, sure. damn, yo, this is my nigga. But yeah. I got to report on this shit. Yeah. Yo, and why yeah. again, thank you so much for the opportunity. And I'd love to be back on. Yeah. You know what I mean? To report that you're in the hospital. Because the next scene, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure you'll be back. My man. brother, I can't wait. I can't wait. So you brought up a good point, right? You said like with acting. Sometimes, you know, you, us as viewers and shit, we take it home, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, damn, yo, like, I really hate this nigga XM, yeah. right? right? So did you ever have to explain to, like, a fan, like, yo, dog, like, chill, bro. I'm not really taking niggas' girls in the whip and get, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you see it more on social media, though. Like, like on social media is when they, they'll really be like, yo, I hate this nigga. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Like. Like, yo, this nigga be bugging, feel me? Uh-huh. Like, when, when, when people see me in person, like, on, some, on a joker way, niggas would be like, yo, stop kicking niggas out the studio, <laughs> boy. Feel me? Something yeah. like that. People would say to me and all that, and I just laugh it off and all that. Uh-huh. But that's how I know I'm really doing a good job of Hell what yeah, I do bro. or whatever, you feel me? It's love. That's yeah. love. By, by them saying, yo, bro. I, we know who you are, bro. Yeah. Stop kicking niggas out the stool. I think I came a long way, though. I ain't like how I used to act when I first started. Oh, perfect. That. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, Tell I, me why. I think I came a long way. Because, like, it's like on the... When I'm acting, when I, like, when I first started, mm -hmm. like, in high school, I had a little classes. Like, I had a little class or whatever. Not acting, but, like, a mass media class or whatever. Feel me? But... 
it's like if I'm acting and let's say you got a line where you got to talk for a long time, feel me? Mm -hmm. And I, I just got to pause and I just got to sit there, feel me? Stuff like that. I look like I feel like I look stupid, oh, okay. feel me? Like okay. I don't yeah. really know how to like just be regular and not say nothing, or, <laughs> feel me? Yeah. So stuff like that I had to work on and all that. But it's like rapping, it's like driving, feel me? The more you do it, the better you get at it. So that's how I feel. I think I'm a little better now. You got before. better in acting? Yeah. I, so that was one of my questions, right? I was going to, because I don't think that in the beginning, like, again, I was, I'm a fan. Yeah. I thought you were doing a great job, right? Thanks, bro. So Appreciate I was going to ask if you took acting courses. like. Nah, nah, I didn't really take acting courses, but I had, like, my mass media class, it wasn't, I ain't going to say it was acting, but it was just like a little bit of everything, feel me? Mm -hmm. So it, not really acting, but but that's why at the same time, I felt like this is my first, if this is my first acting role or acting gig, mm -hmm. why not let it be something that I'm used to doing, feel me? Yes, sir. And let Absolutely. me just be myself. That way I can get the hang of it, and then that way I could do it different roles now yeah. feel me be different uh, different kind of things nah hell yeah have people reached out to you like uh something different nah oh. nah 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 that's surprising because respect yeah. life i'm you know because i'm a podcaster now right i'm a journal hood journalist right yeah. authentic media so i'm doing research and shit and like there's like like well-known people talking about the show because obviously yeah. the show took off yeah. so i'm like i wonder if they're reaching out to y'all like you know you what got, I mean? You got to think about it. Like like I said, I uh, I just, I just can't, it's three seasons. I mm -hmm. came at the end of season two or the end of, I think it was the end of season two. Like I came around that time or, yeah, I came around that time into the, to the series or whatever. And, and like until until like we went on a hiatus this last time we went on a hiatus mm -hmm. before these last three episodes dropped, mm -hmm. I probably I could have counted the scenes that I was in probably on on like one hand for oh, real. Okay, feel okay. me? But it's like when I my scenes is just like impactful. Yeah, yeah. So, so it was like I was really on there more than what I really was, and I only really had a few scenes. You yeah. feel me? So I could see why they nobody would reach out to me. Okay, I see, note, I see. Because only a limited amount of time they yeah, see you. Yeah. So it's like okay. they probably need more from me. But ever since like these last three episodes, yeah, I'm in all three. One of them, I got like three three scenes in one episode. Yeah. I ain't that's never the episode had that. You got before. gunned down, right? Nah, the episode before. Yeah, that's the episode when I got gunned yeah, down. Yeah, I know. Yeah, facts, <laughs> I know. Facts, yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. Yeah. So, feel me. So I'm getting. I'm being able to the the, the uh talent um showcase my talent more, and feel me. We'll just go from there. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. So, the scene when to that like that show that you're still living right in the hospital. There was a song playing, right? Yeah. Called Man on a Mission. Fact. I didn't know it was your song, yeah, right? Fact, but when it was fact. playing, I'm like, yo, that's fire. So I looked it up. I'm like, oh shit, that's Trilly's song. Yeah. Got it on my Spotify. Cause I was yeah. in tune. But yeah. I didn't was that a new record that you made yeah. before that? All right. Nah, let me tell you how this went, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I got I got an EP called My Life is a Movie, right? Mm -hmm. And the main concept of the EP was, I was going to, I was, t I took samples from classic movies, and and turned them in, in, into songs. You feel me? Mm -hmm. and, and basically every video, like every video, was going to be like the movie. You feel me? Yes, sir. That that was like my, like, that was that was how my project was going to go about or whatever. Feel me? But now. You see, with the samples, like you can't really work samples. Like yeah. for the people, you know, it's a lot of sampling going Crazy. on right now. Yes, you sir. can't really. In the long run, you ain't gonna make no money off yeah. that for real. If you don't know the person who own the rights to that, yep. that's gonna that's gonna feel me clear it for you or whatever. Exactly. So now that kind of discouraged me too at the same time, but I I I had to figure it out. Like it's the business, so I couldn't really be mad at it. You mm -hmm. feel me? Mm -hmm. But 
Man on a Mission was one of the, I had about six tracks on it. Man on a Mission was one of them, but I was able to get that track on all platforms. Yes. Feel me? Yes. So I said, why not at least get that one on all, feel me? But the, the EP is on YouTube and it's on SoundCloud. For free. Yeah, for I, free. Okay, that makes sense. Man on a Mission is the only only track that's on all platforms from that project. Uh -huh. But Man on a Mission, yeah, I made that. Uh, that's, if you listen closely, that's, uh, it got the um, New Jack City for the love yeah. of the money. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. So basically, that's that that's the vibe from that. But I didn't write that for respect life. Like I had that that track was already finished in the tuck. Yeah, waiting. You feel me? Yeah. Before I even shot that scene, it just like went right with it. Perfect. You feel I yeah. you feel. I thought yeah. it was for the scene, right? Yeah, definitely. Like definitely. a man on a mission. You in the hospital bed, yeah. bandaged up and shit. Yeah. And I'm like, oh shit. But then again, I do my due diligence, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yo. I'm gonna ask XM this question, right? So XM is a rapper, mm -hmm. and Trillion Dollar T is a rapper, right? Yeah. In your opinion, well, it's you. You both, mm -hmm. you both niggas, right? Yeah. How do they correlate with each other? I want to say the confidence level was the same between both of them. Mm, yeah. But the arrogance level was not. You feel me? And like the 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 attitude, like. I'm I'm cocky. I mean, XM is cocky. <laughs> I know to like a hundred percent cocky. Yeah, like he don't he don't take no shit. Feel me? He hard headed, but he'll do the sh he'll do whatever make him more lit or whatever benefit him. But he won't listen to like the consequences behind it or, mm. or whatever and shit like that. Yes, sir. And, and trillion dollar T, trillion dollar T, confident just like XM, but he more laid back. Feel me? He yes, more sir. laid back, and 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 he more wiser. You feel me? Mm. Like XM not not that wise to me, man. Like <laughs> XM be bugging shit that XM do. I never do. Like oh, I never shit. go live. That's real. That's real. I never go live showing where I'm at and all that. Like telling them to pull up. Nah, never, right? I'm not doing that. <laughs> out of his mind. Nah, that's a good point. That's a good point because XM was wilding. XM was taking niggas' girls. He was, yeah, you know I mean, he was a that's villain. A Rubbing it in their face. And yeah, bro. He was the villain, right? Yeah. And I could tell, like, from your aura. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you just a cool nigga. You feel me? But musically, right? Mm -hmm. I got to ask you who your influences are, right, in music. Only because I'm in tune, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So when I'm like, yo, XM, Dis and Dead Ops, and then I listen to Keeping 100. Keeping 100 yeah. is my favorite song right now. Good looking, bro. Hell Good yeah, shit, bro. Man. Keeping 100, where you talking about real shit like you don't bag up in front of your niece because it's bad luck. Yeah, You know yeah. what I mean? Your co defendant got two strikes, so you took the blame. Yeah. So I'm like, real this nigga got bars. Like, yeah. Ain't no dead ops, pull up, drive by, spin the block, nonsense, yeah. drill shit. So, like, Trillion Dollar T is a rapper. Who are some of your influences? Because your flow and shit like that, I'm yeah. going to tell you who I think, but I want to hear you go first. I, already know. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to tell you who I'm gonna tell you who my influence is, right? Mm -hmm. First, I'm going to tell you who people say I sound like, then I'm going to tell you who my influence is. I right? bet. So, a lot of people say I sound like Fab. Feel okay. Me? I guess we from Brooklyn and all that. Best style. Laid back, flow, whatever, smooth, mm. uh, witty, shit like that. Feel me? But my influence, Fab is definitely one of my influences. Yeah. Feel me? Like coming up, I my first favorite rapper was Lil Wayne. Feel me? Mm -hmm. Catch um, Hot Boys, Lil Wayne. No. Oh, way back. Okay. When they used to have bandanas tied around their wrists and all that. <laughs> Hell yeah. I used to do all that in the crib, feel me? Yeah. After that, it was G and them. But it was more Lloyd Banks. Bars. Feel Makes me? sense. It was more Lloyd Banks was my favorite rapper. Yeah. Or whatever. After that, it was Fab. Feel me? Mm hmm Like this is now I'm getting older, feel me? Lloyd Banks is that's like that's public school era, feel me? Like fifth, 
going out of fifth grade, I remember I had Junior sneakers in fifth grade, so it was still. <laughs> Damn, you was a fan for family. real. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. But um, after that, it was Fab. Feel me? As I'm getting older, it's Fab and Jay Z. Now that I can understand, feel me? I used to, me and my man were just talking about this. Like, niggas know song cry back in the days, but ain't no, ain't even understand what Jay Z was Word. even talking about. You Word, feel me? Bro. But niggas just used Word. to the vid coming on and shit like that. Yeah. Feel me? But shit, yeah, Jay Z, when I got more older, Ross, feel me? Like, niggas like that, like, like that music be timeless, feel me? Nah, that's a fact. Drake. Okay. Feel me? Timeless. I like timeless music. I ain't gonna hold you, man. So you mentioned some spitters, right? But you didn't mention the person that I think. Like when I listen to you, yeah. I hear Meek. Uh, nah, you know it's crazy. I hear Meek, bro. A lot of Meek. Yeah. Only because like your story, man, you you talk real shit. You talk about pain, yeah. struggle. Yeah. Wins and losses, for sure, right? For sure. So I'm like, yo, that that's like a Brooklyn version of Meek, just more laid back. So I yeah. see why you say Fab, yeah, too, right? Uh -huh. Wait, I'm surprised you ain't say Meek, bro. I fuck with Meek. Don't get me wrong, I definitely fuck with Meek. Feel me? Uh -huh. I fuck with Meek, Dirk, or Lil Bet, like niggas like that. I fuck with them too. Feel me? Yeah. But it just like like I said, like feel me? Like I let's say Meek, right? Meek got some shit that I had you just like, feel me? Like, In the zone. damn, he talking that shit. Uh -huh. Feel me? And then, but then you could play, you like, some of his shit that he talking his shit on for real, you could play in the club too, like, as far as the beats and all that, like, yeah, feel me? Of course. Like, Meek got a lot of, like, Meek got good timeless music too, like, it's just really all about the beat, like. Like the tracks like Heaven to Hell by Meek, feel me? Um, that track with um Meek, Khaled, um, Jada Kiss, Surrender, um, Scarface, tracks like oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Me? Tracks like that, like the real timeless, feel me? But don't get me wrong, like if a nigga, uh, 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 if I just got a new V, hot day outside, nah, da -da -da, feel me? I'm feeling myself new fit. Oh, I'm definitely throwing Meek on. Feel me? Definitely That's, throw Meek on. Nah, for sure. That's who I, I got when I... Because I'm in tune with the music. I'm like, yo, this nigga X... Well, I, not even XM. Trillion Dollar T. Yeah. You feel That's how great you did in the fucking role, bro. <laughs> Niggas confusing. But I'm like, this nigga truly, like... When I hear your music, I'm motivated, bro. Like I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, we like the winners. Like, mm -hmm. can't fuck with the losers. Like, you're in the foreign. I'm in the foreign. Yeah. I'm like, yo, that's like on some meek shit. Yeah, so yeah, I wanted yeah. to ask, like, yo, who were like your influences? But when you said Fab, I get it. Yeah. When you say Lloyd Banks, I get it. Yeah. Roy, you know what I mean? Because you got bars, but you tell a story, too. Yeah. So it makes sense. The timeless music, right? Mm -hmm. So I said Keep It 100 is like one of my favorite tracks from you, right? Yeah. Tell me how that song came about. Um... Keeping it a hundred with Neek Bucks. Yes, shout out to Neek Bucks. Yeah, shout out to Neek Bucks. Bucks. Feel me? Um, I think I'm. Uh, how that came about? I know I was just. It's around the time when. Like I'm making music, but like I know, like me personally, like all the music that's like the music that's lit right now is really drill music and all that. Feel me? Yes, sir. Me, like, that's XM lane. Feel me? I mm. lead that to XM. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't make that kind of music. Feel me? I'm a, I'm more of a, like, song. Like, I'm, like, to be honest, like, a lot of people know, like, in years to come, niggas not going to be listening to what niggas is listening to right now. Feel yeah, me? absolutely. Like, for real, for real. So, but anyway, that track, um... Um, my man, shout out to my man La Millie, feel me? Mm -hmm. My man La Millie made that connection for me, but or whatever, been... with me and Neek, uh -huh. feel me? And I, like, I, to be honest, when he made the connection, I didn't, I ain't even had a track done yet, I ain't even start the track yet, feel me? Mm -hmm. I don't even think I had the beat yet, but, like, 
when when I knew he could make the connection, I'm like, all right, now I start putting the pieces together. Now I got the beat, feel me? I know what kind of beat, and I know how I'm going to go with it, feel me? I know how I'm going to talk on it, and like how deep I'm going to get on it, you feel me? Max. So once I did that, I, I, um, matter of fact, I'm lying. That was, at, I'm lying. I got the beat, feel me? And yeah, this is exactly how it happened. I had the beat, but I couldn't think of no chorus, no hook, feel me? Yeah. I couldn't think of no hook to save my life. So I'm like, damn, <laughs> son, what the fuck? Well, I can't play. I'm like, I get, I'm getting neek on this track. I can't I even play call. around, feel me? Word. So they had hit me and said they was in the stool. Um, La Million Neek, feel me? Mm -hmm. They was in the stool. So he said, send the beat. He said, send me the beat and let me see how I feel about how I could come on, feel me? Yes, sir. So I sent him the beat and he sent me the verse right back type shit, feel Damn. me? Damn, hell so yeah. So basically he, he, that's why his verse is first, feel me? Yes, sir. Because he, like, that's how I came about. I sent him the beat, and he sent that shit back, like, in a few hours. Wow, real talk. And then after that, honorable. I yeah. went in the stool. I had my verse already. I went in the stool, feel me? Because I had my verse, but I didn't have no hook. Mm -hmm. So when he laid his verse down, I went to lay my verse down. Now I'm I'm in the stew. I still don't got no hook, son. I'm thinking about leaving it blank and probably putting like a skit from a movie or popping some shit on it. Feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. But then I just sat. I came. I got out the booth. I sat down, listened to it, and then off rip. Once I thought of, I was broke, got my bag up, trying not to have my niece around when I bag up. That's bad luck. Oh. That's a gem. At right after that, everything just started coming naturally, naturally, sir. naturally. Were. Yes, sir. And that's I went and gem. laid the hook right down, and it was all done after that. Nah, that's fire, bro. That's one of my favorite tracks. Uh, and just those, that as a hook, too, right? Look at you teaching. Mm -hmm. Now, you know what I mean? Try not to bag it in front of my niece, because that's bad luck. Fact. Your nephew to teeth his jab up, like uh, being an OG. For real, for real. You know what I mean? That shit hard, bro. And it's it's doing numbers too, video. So a lot of times, right? So shout out to your man, La Millie. Yeah. Salute to La Millie, right? So yeah, salute La. he linked you. He was the bridge for you and Neek Bucks, right? Uh -huh. and you know, Neek Bucks is nice. Like, you nice, he's nice, but he's like moving up in the rankings right yeah, now, right? Facts. He shot a video. Facts. How did that facts. come about? Like, that's honorable shit. Yeah, yeah. And like, I respect him for that because, like, when we when we made the track, he was in, like he was he was in like he was in his mixtape mode or album mode. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Mm -hmm. So he he ain't really have to do that. And then the video on top of it. But how that came about was um, after we made the track, we was supposed to um, cause we made the track. Let me see. I ain't going to lie. We made the track in like probably like around November, son. But we ain't shoot the video till like February. Because it was cold out. And yeah. That's the coast and shit in Feel the video. Me? Yeah. We ain't shoot the video till like February. It was brick that day too, mm -hmm. son. Wow. So, and then all in all, like, yeah, he had what well, I think it was. I think it was Neighborhood Hove he had dropping, Hove. feel me? Yes, sir. Feel me? So he still popped out, was able to shoot the video, feel me? So it's all respect, all love. Shout out to Neek Bucks for nah, doing for that. Sure, for Shout sure. out to Lob Millie for making that connection. Word. Real talk, salute, honorable shit, right? Yeah, definitely. So you, read, you got the Neek Bucks feature, it's doing numbers. Any other artists like you've worked with or you got to keep it on the low or want to work with uh, in the future? I got a track with Jay Critch too. Okay. Jay uh, Critch out of Brooklyn, right? Yeah. Nice. That was like that was like 28, 20. Yeah, that was like 2018, 2017, like around that time. Mm -hmm. Called Action Movie. Yeah, that that that's doing numbers too. That's still doing numbers. Where 
but that's like the only that's the only two features I really like as far as industry. Yeah. Or or people that's known, feel me? Yeah. Um, Nick Bucks and Jay Critch. Yeah, those the only two. But as far as who I want to work with, yes, sir. But like underground or like both. Uh, let's start with underground because I want to know who truly listening to right now too. Like, um, I ain't gonna lie, I don't even be listening to music like that. All right, cool. And I, 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 I personally think that should be fucking with me. I ain't gonna <laughs> say fucking with me or. Or fucking me up, cause yeah, it's just like I don't listen to music like that, cause it's too much of the same music out yep. right now, bro. You ain't you know lying. I mean? And I'd rather listen to some old shit before I listen to like some sh some shit that's gonna give me a headache. You feel me? Word, same shit. It's like pressing repeat on a button, yeah. just a different beat. Everybody got the same flow. Everybody got the same beat. Everybody using samples right now. Talking about the same shit. Talking about the same Drilling. shit. Feel me? And that shit is like, I don't really want to hear that, bro. Cause <laughs> a nigga go through this shit on an everyday basis. Like a nigga, uh, a nigga go through like shit that niggas rap about. People, yeah. niggas really go niggas through. Really go through you it. Feel me? Yeah. So like. They can only want to hear that shit all the time. I'm trying time, to escape man. this shit. Why, bro? Like, <laughs> nah, I feel I, they like. I mean, need a vibe sometimes, like, to just, feel me? Yes, so sir. So now I'm like, ah, just like, feel me? Why? That's how you go back to the timeless music. Yeah. Yo, like so, who that. The, so, who overground you really want to work with? Um, My influences, man. All right. Fab, that might yeah, be easy. Fab. Cause his brother is on Respect Life. Yeah, Paul Kane. Shout out to Paul Kane. Yeah. And my son La Millie, that's his people's too. Like, feel me? So it can happen, but, bro. But um, yeah, Fab, Ross, Jada. Oh yeah. Jada. Yeah. Wow. Sure. I I work with Meek, Dirk, all them niggas like that, man. Little baby. Um but I ain't gonna lie, I wanna work with niggas like Chris Brown and all that. That's some all yeah. the shit. Chris Brown, uh -huh. The Weeknd, Future, niggas like that. Word. You on your, you on your R and B shit for real? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> make, make some vibes, man. Nah, hell yeah, hell yeah, I feel that. Word. And again, <clears throat> excuse me, like it's not surprising to me that you getting like looks. You know what I mean? Because again, XM took you real far yeah. and on respect life there were celebrities on respect life too yeah, hell yeah, you know yeah. what i mean like battle rappers was on there paul yeah. fabulous brothers on there and i'm like it should be like not easy but like it'll be harder for me to get a paul kane feature than you like you xm yeah yeah for sure for sure crazy thing paul K paul kane paul kane a humble down to earth kind of dude feel salute me? like he ain't he ain't one of them like cocky niggas like XM is, feel me? Mm -hmm. Where he I'm pretty sure if I was to ask him, like, feel me? Hell yeah. I honestly never even asked though. Feel me? I honestly never even asked. Just be like, is it cause you like humble like is that because trillion dollar T's not asking? Or is that yo? I'm XM. Like yeah. I ain't gonna ask. Like nah, it could be on some. It could be trillion dollar T. Cause like niggas be telling me that I gotta be. I gotta show face more. I gotta be more mm. active and all that. Feel me? Like, yes, sir. But that's like kind of like I'm. I'm laid back, but feel me. I'm active too, but I'm just not active. Active. How niggas be just active all day or on the gram all day? Yeah. Just do this all day, that all day. Feel me? Yeah. Like I I like I be handling my business and then and then feel me? Uh if if I gotta go on the gram, then I'll be on the gram, but I don't like I don't really know how to explain it, man. But your profession, right? Like you a rapper. Yeah. So you gotta be out there. So do I you think it. that maybe Trilly could borrow something from XM? Yeah, that's what I that's that's what I'm trying to work on oh, now, man. man. Feel me? That's what I'm trying to work on now. Just it's like I be wanting to be active and out there, but it's a lot of shit going on. COVID, yeah. they got to risk catching COVID. Yeah, feel me? They got to risk mad shit. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, then yeah. it's a hard time to be really 
out there. Feel me? Nah, for like, sure. Shit, that. Thank you again. Then, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, nah, through. you already know. This shit ain't about nothing, man. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, as far like, it's not a lot of us in here. Feel me? But like, it's spots where they gotta beat us. Shit, pat. Yeah, you performing me? bumper to bumper. Yeah. Feel me? But that's the risk you gotta take and all that, feel me? But I'm willing to take them risks, man. I'm willing to take them risks. It's just all about, you know, having a support system, mm -hmm. having everybody on the same page. Yes, sir. Feel me? Yes, sir. Everybody, everybody get a responsibility or something they gotta do to make shit easier for everybody else, you feel me? Like, niggas is stronger together. Mm. Then they is a part. Teach one, teach one. Wow, you facts. teach him, bro. Niggas is stronger together. Definitely. So let's talk about your team, right? You the rapper. Uh huh. You know what I mean? You the rapper. You the actor too, right? Yeah. Now you got La Millie, cool guy that like help. He's a bridge, bridging stuff like that. Like, uh -huh. talk to me about like the your your atmosphere and the people around yeah. you, ex excluding the respect life. Yeah, like La Millie, not even really like La Millie, not even a part of my team. Like. But that's that's one of the homies that I know, feel yeah, me? Yeah. From the neighborhood and all that, mm -hmm. feel me? But my team, like we I call myself I'm dope moves, feel me? We dope, dope moves. Dope moves, yes. Feel me? Talk to me about dope moves. I'm not I, honestly I'm the only rapper. Feel me? Everybody playing their position. I, I like got that. friends that rap though, but it's just all about them taking it serious. Feel me? Mm -hmm. Like I know I take it serious. But I know I could take it even more seriously than what I'm taking it. Yes, sir. You feel me? Yes, sir. Cause people always tell me like, like if you, like if you ask a rapper, yo, um, you got anything that you want to say to the people that's coming up, just like how you was, they'd be like, um, just don't stop or keep going. Anything you want to do, obtainable, da da da, stuff uh -huh. like that. Feel me? So that's just all I be, that's, that's what I be thinking about. It was plenty of times, like, I wanted to, like, yo, fuck this shit, man. Yeah, like, I get it. A nigga only getting older, Yeah. feel me? Like, nobody want to, like, hear no, no older nigga, feel me? Like, I ain't getting no younger. And then, like, the, the rappers that's coming out now is younger. You feel me? Yeah. Like, like you, t 10 years ago, YouTube wasn't, like, how it is now, you feel me? <laughs> Like for real, it's I ain't gonna say it's easy, but it's easier than it was back in the day. Yes, sir. Me? But watered, that makes it more watered down too, right? Yeah. So a thousand rappers. Mm -hmm. So it's like, what separates you from everyone else? You ain't doing the drill shit. Exactly. That's why. That's why. And then like uh, a lot of people that's listening to music might got a short attention span or. Nigga might not even really understand what you really talking about, so that's a fact. They gonna be like, yo, I don't want to hear this shit. Feel yeah, me? yeah, yeah, it's nigga talking about real shit. So like, you got to worry about reaching the right ears. Feel me? That's a fact. It's not even really about what you know no more. It's about who you know. Absolutely. If you reach the right ears, then everything goes to just work like in its own favor after that. You feel me? Yes, sir. Yes, Why? sir. But that's just all it takes, like. Well, that's all it takes. It's just it, it's it's different now, though, man. They wanna they they wanna hear that 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 drill shit, man. Feel me? Do you think that you would have like a a drill track? Maybe not change all the way into like drill, but you know, cause you wanna say, do love songs with Chris Brown. Yeah, I could say not a drill track. Like I could say a drill beat. Drill beat. All right. Yeah, that's really more the up tempo. Feel me? Yeah. That's more of that kind of up tempo, like shit like that. Feel me? Yes, sir. More bass, shit like that. Where you could feel me? So would you say the winners? The winners is kind of like that's that's kind of like a drill. Like if somebody else would have got that beat, they could have made that a drill song. So talk to me about how that song, the winners, came about. The winners. Yeah. Ah, uh, how the winners came about. Because I seen the video. The yeah. people saw it too, because it's going to be right in the introduction. Mm -hmm. Y'all going in, y'all got the bottles, y'all got yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me about the winners. The winners basically came about, uh, you know, it was, it, it was I want to say, I ain't going to say I was feeling myself or none of that, <laughs> but I want to say, 
it was a time where I felt like everybody was winning. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like fuck with the losers. I look around, everybody winning. It's a good feeling. It's a to great see that. feeling. You feel me? Yes, sir. It's a good feeling to see everybody winning. So that was like kind of my way of celebrating. Celebrating everybody winning, feel me? Yes, sir. Or celebrate or making it known that I see y'all, feel me? I, I see y'all out there, I see, feel me? I see what's going on. Showing love. Feel me? Basically showing love. But at the same time, letting you know still, feel me? We don't fuck with the losers, <laughs> feel me? Yeah. And like... Niggas could never confuse us at the same time, feel me? Like, yes, sir. All right, we winners. We winning, you winning, feel me? Yes, sir. But it's like, it. I, I ain't going to be cocky or none of that, but it's like, it's it's people that know, like, it's pandemic niggas, pandemic boys, and then it's it's people that been doing this for like a, like some time now, you it's feel the same. me? same. So it's like, Niggas can't never confuse us. Bitches can't never confuse us, you feel me? Yeah. Don't confuse a nigga that hit a lick with a nigga that been hitting, been doing this. For feel the me? longest. Yeah. Yes, sir. So let's not yes, get sir. it confused. That's just basically with, with that song. It's a dope man. visual, too. The video is fire. Looking, bro. Appreciate it. Video is that. fire, Appreciate bro. It. Who produced that? Um, who I forgot the producer name. I forgot the um exact producer name. Mm -hmm. Well, I definitely forgot the exact producer name. I know my son Elvis shot the video, though. Yeah, that video is fire, yeah, yo. All look. your visuals are fire. Yeah, good is luck. Elvis a, hell yeah, bro. Is Elvis a part of Dope dope Moves? Um, I ain't going to say he a part of Dope Moves, but I am going to say he a part of Dope Moves, feel me? Because that's mm -hmm. my goal. That's my last, every video I got from twenty from 2020. He shot every video I shot in 2020. Playing this position. Every video down. I shot in 2021. Yeah, for like the last two years, she was shooting all my videos. For like the last two years. Nah, shit's is dope, bro. Everything. Appreciate it. All I got to do, that's why I like her, man. All I got to do is point them in the right direction. Like I know niggas that, that's like, how we were talking about the songs be the same, the Yes, niggas sir. flows the beats. Yeah. Niggas videos be the same too, yeah. man. Yeah. Feel me? Yeah. Y'all in the hood, y'all making the same videos in the hallway. Even the guns. Front of the building with the hammer yeah. and all that. I'm not doing it. <laughs> niggas <laughs> is going to jail, bro. <laughs> That's I'm a fact. I'm not doing that, bro. That's a fact. Bar, feel me? That's a but fact. But I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a show y'all life. I like, I'm going to go to Jamaica, and I'm going to shoot a video while I'm out there in Jamaica. Feel me? That's that motivation shit. Yeah, that's the that's, meek. That, that's the day after day. Feel me? The day after mm. day track I got, I shot that video in Jamaica. You feel me? Yes, sir. The, um, I got, um, what song is this? Um, I got a video for a track I did. I got a, I got a video in Vegas for, for a track I did. Um. Forgot what this shit called, man. My memory fucked up. Now, nah, all good, all but good. Yeah, um, yeah, I got a vid in Vegas. So basically, if I go somewhere, I'm shooting a video out there. Feel me? I'm making that a priority. Different views. That's just like how Jay Z, like, like when Jay Z made um, what 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 video was that? He went to St. Thomas. That that was that was feeling it. Uh, or uh, uh, uh. okay. Yeah, he was on the speedboat, yeah, feel me? Speedboat, yeah. so, uh, While niggas was making videos in the peas and all that, feel me? Yeah. He just showing you like his like where his Bro, mom was at. Yeah, feel yeah. me? Like innovative. Always but super That's why I'm like too. Like if that. niggas ain't going if niggas like a way how I'm gonna separate myself. I'm a I'ma make real videos, feel me? Yeah. Like I'ma really invest in my time and myself and Absolutely. everything in these videos and these visuals. Yeah. Feel me? And I'ma show y'all like And we ain't the same. Yeah, like that's <laughs> that that's basically how we I'm ain't gonna the separate same. myself. Hell yeah, but, man. Hell yeah. But before we close out though, 
anything you could tell us about like respect life like um is xm gonna be okay like i know i want the riders yeah, to go yeah, crazy yeah xm um xm is good man y'all seen the last episode uh-huh, uh-huh. y'all see my finger jump man. facts facts Them little stuff. details yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good where my mind at though, where X and mine at, I don't know. <laughs> I can't really tell you that right now. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I don't know if he gonna come back humble. I don't mm-hmm. know if he gonna come back on his 50 cent shit or his Tupac shit. Feel me? So y'all just gotta stay tuned. Just for gotta that, stay man. tuned, yeah, my just man. Gotta stay tuned for that. All right, how about music, man? Like trillion music. dollar T's in the building yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk musically, to the people. Musically, I'm working on the tape right now, and. Like you see how them tracks you just you bought up? Yeah. I only got like three songs, three tracks on all streaming platforms. You feel me? Yes, sir. Yes, like twenty twenty two. Like I'm working on the tape right now. I'm working on the tape. I promise the whole tape will be on all streaming platforms. Hell yeah! From now on, out any song I drop will be on all streaming platforms. Yes, sir. Any video I do, the song will be on all streaming platforms. Unless it's a freestyle or something, feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to be much more professional with it and treat yes, it more sir. like a job. You feel me? So I could really actually get paid from this shit. That's where that's where a lot of the like a lot of the where I don't be wanting to do it no more. Uh-huh. Cause I be spending so much money on it and I don't see no money in back. Turn, feel God. me? Entrepreneurship, so, bro, you gotta Yeah, keep it's just going. like probably I'm just doing something wrong. But it's all about living and learning, learning from my mistakes, feel me? So yeah, absolutely. 2022, I'm being much more professional with it. Uh-huh. So, feel me? So, I'm treating it much more like a job. Same. Consistency. Same, bro. I just, bro. Got, I just got a fucking tax return from Tune Court. Shit was no, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Shit was hey, no I paper, mean, but you, man. but you getting it though. Right. But yeah, but, but you that, getting it. That just showed me I'm doing something facts right that I wasn't doing. Like I'm moving in the right direction than I was last year. Feel me? That's it. The marathon oh. continues. My right. Only goal is being better than the old me, man. Hell yeah. Feel me? Hell yeah, bro. I ain't same. In competition with nobody but myself. Hell yeah. All right, my All man. Right. Tell the people know where to find you, bro. Trillion Dollar T, you can find me on the gram at Trillion Dollar T, T E E. You can find me on YouTube, Trillion Dollar T. Yeah. Facebook, well, I don't even be on Facebook. <laughs> feel me? Yeah. But yeah, man, I'm working, man. Feel me? How about the streaming platforms? Yeah, streaming, uh, all streaming platforms, man. Just type Trillion Dollar T. Three, Trillion about T. three songs gonna pop up right now, but I promise you, man. Give me a couple months, I'm gonna have at least ten up there, man. Hell yeah! And then it's only gonna get, only gonna keep adding up, keep adding up. Just give me some time, I promise. I got y'all, man. I'm moving. But we Much could go to YouTube, right? The old me, huh? Hell yeah! But we could go to YouTube to get like your full yeah, discography hell yeah. too. Yeah, you can go on YouTube and check out my progression, man. From from years ago to now, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, you could definitely see the progression. Hell definitely. yeah! My brother, once God, again, man, thank you for you, pulling man. up to the Each One Teach One podcast. Definitely. Showing cheap. that love. Thank you for tuning in. This is Trillion Dollar T, a.k.a. XM from Respect Life. It's your boy Chief in the building. Of course, wearing that good old-fashioned library drip. You know, God. holler at them at 4918 Snyder Avenue, Brooklyn, New York. And tell them Chief sent you, you'll get 15% off. Salute. We out. Yes, sir.